this is Ankita from Intellurize where today we'll be studying about the concept of pagination using CSS3. Well, if you want that your pages which should be appear to the user, like I have taken one, two, three, four with this backward arrow and this front arrow. And first I have defined a unordered list with class pagination and in this I have taken different list items with this reference as hash that I'll be just stick to that particular web page and then I have taken an active class that defaultly my page 2 will be shown as active and I have defined the styling for all the elements that how it should be seen to the user. Let's see how we can do this. I have defined a normal unordered pagination with display inline block. Then my all the list items which I am taking should be display inline. Then the tags, then all the UL, all the unordered list elements with anchor tag should have color black they should flow towards left with padding this text decoration I have taken none and border radius 5 pixels then I have taken a class as active on page 2 so I have defined the styling for this particular page with background color I have taken this hexacolor code for red then color of the text as white and border radius as 5 pixels well this is for my active one and rest ul pagination not active and background color as right light gray which means all the elements which don't have this active class they'll be having background color as light gray when i hover over that particular element well, this is how we have done the styling in this. Let's save this program and run it in our browser and let's see that what different effects we can give in this. Well, this is how my output would be. This is my active link, which I've told you. This is my second page with active link and rest my elements would be light gray which are not not active well let's make some changes in this program and let's see that what other things we can do for example how we can use the bordered pa pagination that i want my all the pages they should have a particular border around them for using that what we'll do in this styling i'll just add border then I'll write one pixels solid like red and let's save this. Well, this is how you will get bordered pagination. And what in case you want that you can add spaces like you can see it's all totally connectly jointed joined to each of them we can make spaces between all these elements with different pages for doing this what we'll do we'll just add here margin zero and four pixels Let's save this and let's see how the changes would be. Now you can see you have spaces in your pagination. Well, this is how your the concept of pagination works in CSS3.
let's implement this program and you can make certain more changes as per the styling you want and you have just understood that how they are correlated and how the, these different elements work. Well, that's all for today. Stay tuned to intellearn.in for more updates. Thank you.